Good morning, beautiful people, and happy February 3rd. To start my day out, I like to go ahead and make my bed. If you can make your bed in the morning, it gives you more motivation to do the next task and the next one after that. Then once my bed is all made, I head into the bathroom for brushing my teeth and washing my face. I have very oily skin, so I like to start out with the oil-free acne wash by Neutrogena, and I use the CoverGirl Facial Cleansing Spin Brush. This morning routine ended up being filmed over two days, so if you see my outfit changing, that's why. The next step will be to hydrate. Your body's been dehydrated for eight hours or however long you've been sleeping, so it's always good to start out by drinking water. And then I'm gonna go put water on the stove so I can make my peppermint tea. Then we're just gonna open up all the blinds and let some light in here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and light my lavender incense and prepare for my meditation. Now at this point the kettle is screaming at me so it's time to go grab that off of the stove and pour our peppermint tea. I always meditate in the morning just to get myself in a more zen mind space and feel more peaceful with the day. And after my meditation I move on to a 15 minute yoga just to get my body all stretched out and warmed up for the day right before I start my workout. After yoga, we're just gonna go ahead and get a workout in. No matter how long your workout is, just make sure you find time to move your body in the day. It's so healthy and important that you get some type of exercise every day. And then after my workout, I like to just take a second to sit down and have my peppermint tea, get myself centered and think about what I need to accomplish that day. And then I can start the rest of my day. And then I just go ahead and take my daily vitamins for the day. And then I head to the bathroom to get my sweaty ass in the shower. going to go ahead and read a chapter of my book. I'm currently reading Worth It by Britt Barron. I feel like it's really important to always make sure you're reading something that's nonfiction um, alongside any fiction book you're reading, but if you're not reading at all, you should probably pick up The Habit. I'm not going to lie and pretend I'm the best at reading, but you know, I'm trying to get better at it. It is really good to keep strengthening your knowledge. And lastly, but certainly not least, I step outside and rain or shine, I find a way to connect with nature, whether that's going on a walk or a run or whatever it may be that day. Hello, good morning, beautiful people. I just wanted to come on here real quick and say, if you feel like you're one of those people who struggles with letting minor inconveniences that happen during the day go and you continue to carry that anger, frustration, or anxiety to where it becomes a bad day because you had a bad 10 minutes, then maybe you wanna try meditation. Somebody backed into me in a parking lot yesterday and I just got my car in August, so it's still very new and it dented the side of my car door and all I thought to myself was like hey it's something that happened I can't control it so instead of being like super angry about it and letting it have a negative effect on my whole day I might as well just be at peace with it and let it go but I think it's actually pretty beautiful that through doing something natural that's good for your soul you can find the inner peace to be at peace with things that happen and realize that inconveniences are going to come your way but they don't have to make or break your day you guys know the drill i absolutely suck at making outros but thank you guys so so much for watching i love you so much go ahead and like comment subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time i upload new videos i post videos about literally everything so there's something on my channel you're gonna vibe with all right thanks guys love you